It's Monday, and it's time for your source of strange stories and downright weird. It's News with Guy. What is up, Internet? I'm Guy Jackson, and welcome to another episode of News with Guy, where every Monday we bring you another eclectic mix of bizarre news stories. So sit back, relax, and let's get this party started. For many members of the homeless population, a general rule of thumb is, if it's dry, it's home. And in San Francisco, the exterior of St. Mary's Cathedral definitely fits that description. With its four 30-foot archways outside of the church, it attracts a slew of frequent guests claiming these spots as temporary housing. That was until the church decided that enough was enough, and they installed an anti-homeless sprinkler system. Throughout the night, a scheduled 75-second stream of water pours down from these archways above the unexpected loiterers, absolutely drenching anyone below. Jennifer Friedenbach, executive director of the Coalition of Homeless, said, It's very shocking and very inhumane. There's not really another way to describe it. Certainly not formed on the basis of Catholic teachings. <laughs> Burn. Once news of this caught wind in the social media circuits, and St. Mary's faced the full backlash that is the internet, the church was quick to apologize, publicly announcing that they'll be dismantling this watering system. And of course, this had nothing to do with the fact that the city actually stepped in and mandated the removal of this homeless deterrent for violating San Francisco's building and safety codes. Yeah, you know that and that too, I guess. Back in 2014, Ashley Brady, a resident in Miamisburg, Ohio, lost her leg in an unfortunate accident and since then has been adjusting to life with a prosthetic leg. Recognizing her struggles, on March 12th, management of the apartment complex designated a handicapped parking space for Ashley outside the front of the building. But problems arose when a vehicle without a placeholder started parking in the spot. Ashley left a stern letter describing her trials and the reasoning behind her spot. In return, the parking vandal left a mind-blowing rebuttal. Hey, handicap! Yup, the, the letter started with hey, handicap. First, never place your hand on my car again. Second, honey, you ain't the only one with struggles. You want pity? Go to a one-leg support group. You mess with the wrong one. I don't care what your note said, shove it. But you touch my car again, I will file a report. I am not playing. I let the officer know the crybaby one leg touches my property, I will cause trouble. So go cry your struggles to someone who cares because I'm walking away with both mine. Bitch. <laughs> In complete shock, Ashley shared this letter with her friends on Facebook, which quickly accumulated over 1,000 shares, in which Ashley received many encouraging responses, as well as some strong feedback from the community. Personally, I would have fucked her car up with the prosthetic leg. SNES Final Fight Style. Oh my god. Once again, Walmart is making headlines. This time, news coming from Mobile, Alabama, with a customer shot video that's going viral chronicling the misadventures of this shoplifter. Being caught in the act, the individual in question is detained at the McDonald's located inside the big box store. Then, in an attempt at freedom, the criminal claws his way into the ceiling and then breaks into the air duct. Traversing 20 feet to the front door, the man kicks on the ceiling and then hangs from the rafters, unfortunately in plain view of his original captors. Then, in a truly Spider-Man-esque maneuver, he balances on the doorframe and leaps to safety, free from the awaiting arms of store security. Then the assailant ran, got in his car, and drove away. At this time, no arrests have been made. And that, my friends, is the conclusion of another episode of News with Guy. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel and tune in next week for another batch of weird news. Until next time, I leave you with a video of a Lexus hit and run with a scooter that literally explodes. Thanks for watching. I'm Guy Jackson. Peace.